Good evening guys, welcome to our second house meeting of the year and our first virtual house meeting. Um, the reason why we've decided to do a virtual house meeting um, this week is because we weren't able to get the venue because of tests and as such we realised a lot of people will be writing so we don't want to add the stress of trying to make it onto campus um, to come to the house meeting. As such, we're on YouTube this time. I um, hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you're staying on top of your academics. Um, and yeah, all school's doing good. Um, recently, we announced our first year's comp for 2021. Um, they are Braden Berger, Christian Schneider, Gerald Hose, Leonard Dutoy, and Malt Haman. Well done, gents. We're very proud of you. We look forward to see what you guys are coming up with this year. Um, we had our first meeting last week. Um, and just got some feedback from them regarding some things that are happening throughout the year. Um, namely, that a big reason why members aren't able or aren't willing to come to some of our events is transport and walking home um, when it's dark. And yeah, we totally understand this. Um, so in the future, we're going to try and host our events, either start them earlier or in places where it isn't so bad to be walking back. Also, with that in mind, if we are hosting an event late at night and you are from Moitkadak area, Fusi lives there as well. I'm sure he wouldn't mind walking back with you or knows of ways that can get you back safely and cheaply. Another thing is on the back of your student card is a number for campus security. If you call them or WhatsApp them, they will come and walk you home back to your residence. This is their job. They're supposed to do this. We know they are not great, but we, we, yeah, we move. Um, and then going forwards, um, you probably have been sent a Google form from your mentor if you're in first year. This form is for first year dance feedback. So we know you guys didn't have a project mall at the beginning of the year. So we've decided to try and put together a first year dance for you guys. Um, please fill out this form as quickly as possible so we can see how many of you are interested and where you guys would like the dance to be held. Um, obviously, as we've just heard tonight from Uncle Cyril, the country is going back into level two. Um, so we're just going to have to assess what that means for first year dance um, planning. But we will stay in contact with you guys and let you know of what's going on. Um, and then next term, it's the big one. We've got the house dance. Um, we will be releasing ticket prices as well as the venue in the coming weeks. Um, so just please be aware that's going to be in the middle of August sometime. Um, again, we'll let you know all the details for that as we get them. Um, and then, yeah, from a personal note, um, we are basically finished our term as Harcom. I know it doesn't seem like it, we're only halfway through the year, but we've only got a term left. Um, so, on that note, um, Harcom elections will be held at our next Harcom meeting, which will be next term. Um, so, if you're thinking of running for Harcom, once you know what it's about, would like to come and sit in on one of our Harkar meetings, send me a message and I'll be happy to help you out with that. Be happy to talk you through and like what's expected of you as a Harkar member and all the things that we do as Harkar this house. Um, I hope you guys are all good and yeah, that's from me. See you guys soon. If you need anything from us or anything on a personal note, feel free to message me or feel free to get hold of us through Instagram and Facebook or the big group. Good afternoon, folks. Good to see you again. I hope like uh, the academics are teaching us well. But since now we've been starting, we've starting our exam, I would like to say good luck to all of us. Or uh, from a follow-up from our last meeting that was on the 4th of April 2021, my main point was to tell about safety and profound idea to track academic support and how to increase diversity in our PSO. About the same the about safety, all something that I'm asking like this all all of us please wear masks and sanitize and keep a social distance so that you can reduce the, the spreading of the COVID-19. And for profound ideas, some people like they came with some ideas about an academic Google Drive. So we've created the, the academic Google Drive, but there's no content inside. So what I'm asking guys, please let's collaborate with each other. Share some materials so we can help in the next generation because after next day there some some student will come and will not be having the material to start. So just share anything that we have in Google Drive and then I, I made those things according to them. 
faculties, please let's kind of collaborate guys, share with your friends and maybe share some content. Increasing diversity in our view, so like we don't affect a, a cultural performance evening. Like like you bring your culture and then you show us your culture different types of things. And for more details you can ask our cultural hub Damien. Today I will be like speaking about uh, the the marketing day. So we have thought of a marketing day, bring marketing day so you can collaborate with other people. So the marketing day is like we will, we will provide you with a space. The space will be provided but you, you have to all come with your own something that you want to say and then that, with this lesson like I try to, to encourage like like a student entrepreneurship so you can have like skills of how to say and all the entrepreneurship. So for more details you can ask our friend Steven. So last but not least, let us protect hey everyone. Um it's Emma here. And yeah, I hope you are all doing well and coping academically, socially and mental health wise. Um, especially with COVID rearing its nasty head again. <laughs> third way um yeah but remember if you aren't um we're always here to try and help where we can and also just to point you um in the direction of people who can help you um so yeah definitely do reach out if you need some help um or if you're struggling and yeah we are also always open to suggestions or if you have any cool ideas please do let us know um because we're also always looking to improve um and yeah, suggestions and feedback is always great. Um, and yeah, as you know, I'm the female strategic advisor. Um, so I don't really have a specific portfolio that I can point you towards as such. Um, but I've been around. Um, I've been having discussions with the rest of the house committee and giving advice where I can and also definitely learning a lot in the process. Um, and yeah, I've also been working with Senzo and Sako um, on critical engagements. And last time we had a uh, critical engagement about language at Stellenbosch, especially in light of the language policy, which is being reviewed. Um, and yeah, it was really great to get so many different perspectives and hear from different people coming from different places. Um, and yeah, it was super interesting. Um, and yeah, I definitely learned a lot. And then this month is June, Pride Month. Um, so we're hoping to do something um, related to different gender identities and sexual orientations um, and yeah but if you have anything specific you'd like to discuss around that or if you have any other ideas of topics you'd like to talk about in the future then definitely do let us know because it's always good for us to know what it is that you can talk about and engage on and we'll also continue pointing you in the direction of discussions and engagements happening on campus because there are always so many happening um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely more week and definitely good luck with their upcoming exams. Um, and yeah, definitely do reach out if you need to. Hello everyone, my name is Vian Smith. I'm the sports hawker and alumni hawker. On the sports side of things, our soccer and our hockey team have started playing matches as well as our squash team. So if you guys are maybe interested in joining one of these teams, please feel free to send me a message, then I'll add you to the groups. And also I know a lot of people have started asking me about rugby, when the rugby will start and those kind of stuff. At this moment I'm busy asking the university all these questions and yeah, to be honest I don't know when it will start and I don't think that they know exactly when it will start since the uh, current COVID pandemic is changing rapidly. And then also for my alumni portfolio, in September there will be an homecoming event for all the alumni and I will organize something for them. If you guys have any questions with regards to these portfolios that I have, please feel free to send me a message. Cheers guys. Hello everyone, it's your culture hawker, David Villiers. Um, currently on the culture side of things, we have started SAD. I'm super excited. We are collaborating with Olympus and we have a real strong, strong SAD this year. So please guys, I want to encourage you to come watch and support them. And then on the fact of um, having a culture evening, we are in process of planning that. Um, we will have it with our cluster as well. So just send me a message if you want to be part. That link will be sent out to you shortly. And have a great weekend, guys. Hey, guys, how's it going? I hope you're all well. For those of you who may not know me, my name is Ross, and I'm the head mentor. 
Uh, so as far as the main tours go, we haven't had any complaints and it seems to be a good year so far. Um, but if any of you do have any queries or questions about your mentors that you don't feel comfortable talking to them about, please get hold of me and let me know and we can sort it all out. Uh, my other portfolios include clothing, the Harper office and wellness. So for the Harper office, it's still closed at the moment so we won't be able to get in there. Um, clothing wise, we've recently sent out a Google Doc finding out what guys are interested in getting for the mid-year merch and so we're going to be having hoodies, beanies and hopefully rugby jerseys designed and made so uh, keep in touch guys and we'll let you know when those become available um, and then wellness guys we're moving into the exam portion of the semester so uh, heads down guys work hard and then the hard car is full of guys that have been here for a while you know so if you've got any questions you're struggling with exams you know you just don't know what to do mentors seniors come the haka we're here we've done it we're ready to help so just get hold of us and yeah we'll help you guys out apart from that i hope the year is going well for all of you uh, having a good time and enjoying and yeah guys just we'll see you around and enjoy cheers Yo, what's poppin', uh, Mola? Um, um, I hope uh, everybody's having a great uh, semester so far. Um, as I've already introduced myself in the other meeting we've had at JC Smart, um, this is Taco Clinton, um, your finance hacker and your critical engagement hacker. Um, so yeah, I'm just here to give you some feedback on what I've done. Throughout the um, throughout the term, uh, we have had a couple of critical engagements that we hosted in Monica for the critical engagement, and we have um, and we are planning a few a few more. Um, Senso should mention that uh, this is uh, Pride Month this month, so it's probably there's probably gonna be something pertaining to that um, sometime during the week. Um, there's gonna be uh, that, and then. We, we will let you know if we are organizing anything more in terms of the finances the house um is still ticking by the finances are still intact and the house is still is still in good financial standing and we we, we we keep on going forward and i hope and i wish you luck with your remaining tests and the exam thank you away oh, hey guys glad to be here glad to be here thank you very much for tuning in uh, my name is Rivaldo, I'm the Sustainability as well as Social Impact Parker. Um, this year we had numerous plans that obviously we could not follow through due to COVID, but I am still excited to announce that we will still be doing the sustainability, our tree planting. I'm currently in talks with Yonkazu, they have given us permission. Uh, the university is also going to help us fund, which is amazing because we were hoping to plant a thousand trees, but Yonkazu is physically not big enough to plant to plant nine meters square trees, you know what I mean? Um, and in terms of social impact, we are looking to have the uh, movie nights where people can pay an entrance of a sanitary product, which will go straight to the Stellenbosch safe house, um, where women can use it. We're hoping to get as many as we can. Um, we're also in talks with them right now. They've given us permission, and they've also given it to us for free, which is amazing. Um, thank you so, so much. Hope you guys stay safe out there. Um, good luck. Hey guys, my name is Anish Stewart and I am the marketing and academics hawker. So I'm the person that makes all the posters, does all the posts on Instagram and Facebook, does the YouTube channel. So I am in charge of everything marketing. Um, so everything that, all the inf information that you get regarding events and stuff that Adam Miller is hosting, I'm the person sending that out. Um, also, if you have any academic questions throughout the year, you can always send them to me. And please make sure that if you ever take pictures now Adam Miller merchandise, or does some, do something with your Ed Millen friends, send videos to me about that and I can post it and make sure that our community stays alive and happy. I hope you guys have an awesome day and thank you guys for joining us in our house meeting. Um, I know this is just a short clip about me, but uh, most of you also met me in first year last year and this year, and some of my first year friends also know me. So if you didn't know me, hi, I'm Ranir, and if you did, welcome. Uh, have a lovely night guys. Hey everyone, my name is Senzo. 
my portfolios are cluster and critical engagement. So for cluster, we have weekly um, um, chill sessions where all the communities within the cluster get to chill together and they get to interact with one another so we can create a sense of community within the cluster. Um, I'm also the critical engagement house committee member. So earlier this year, we had a series of um, critical engagement um, sessions with the newcomers where we covered a wide range of topics. And our goal here was to um, introduce the newcomers to conversations on campus and just to prepare them for that. We also had another um, critical engagement later on in the first term where we dealt with language um, um, on campus and how it influences students on campus. Um, with this session, we um, partnered with Monica, which gave us a lot of new, fresh perspectives. We also encourage our members um, in Odemolin to um, take part in conversations on campus and just want to let you know our members be comfortable you know with having uncomfortable conversations thank you